different states have different regulations. In New York State, all operating rooms, whether it's in a hospital, if it's in an office, if it's in an ambulatory surgery center, must be accredited. So when the accrediting agency comes into the facility, they inspect it and they make sure that all the proper safety standards and protocols are being followed. In New York State, uh, I also look for facilities where they use board certified anesthesiologists and all facilities will have this. But if you're in another state, you wanna make sure that your facility is accredited and that they have board certified anesthesiologists who will be performing your anesthesia. Now, why would a patient need to go to a hospital? If a patient has a medical problem, uncontrolled high blood pressure, they're very overweight, they're a smoker, they have a higher risk for having a complication during the surgery, then you need to be in a hospital setting. But in the case of cosmetic surgery patients, our patients are healthy. We're not gonna do surgery on a patient who has a medical problem that would make them a higher risk for surgery. There are a few exceptions to this rule with some of the post-bariatric patients. Uh, they may need to be in a hospital setting and stay overnight. Um, in general, a tummy tuck patient goes home the same night. There is no need to stay overnight. And I would like to point out to all patients everywhere that hospitals do have an issue with hospital-acquired infections due to resistant bacteria that are present in the facilities. So if you do not need to have a procedure in a hospital, my best advice is to stay out of the hospital and have it in an ambulatory surgery center or an office-based OR where the infection rates tend to be very, very low, if not non-existent. Yeah.